This is example 25 of our differentiation topic. We've been looking at differentiating implicit functions. This is a bit of an application of that. We've used this kind of um, problem with explicit functions before, where we've been looking at finding the equation of a tangent to uh, a quadratic function or a cubic function, where we find the derivative substitute a value for x to get the actual gradient at that point and then we've got a gradient and a point which we can then feed into our equation of a straight line. The only difference uh, when you're differentiating uh, when we're doing this for an implicit function is first of all the differentiation technique but also the fact that we'll need both the x and y coordinates of the point in tangency because your gradient function is going to be in terms of x and y. So let's have a look at the question. It's quite a good one because we're now able to find the equation of the tangent to a circle. A circle is an implicit function um, and therefore we can now differentiate the function as it stands and we can find the equation of the tangent. So let's have a look at the function that we're given. We've got x minus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 13. And we want to find the gradient of that. In other words, we want to find y by dx. So we could just write in here for the gradient, we want to differentiate both sides. Now, we're still at the point of just explaining that we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. Just worth taking time to do that. We want to differentiate with respect to x. So you get two options at this point. We can square out those brackets and have a, a series of uh, terms in x and y on the left-hand side. But we can actually still use the chain rule um, to differentiate each of these terms separately. So we'll just have a look and see if we differentiate x plus 3 squared. Uh, using the chain rule, it becomes 2 times x minus 3. Uh, to the power 1 multiplied by the derivative of x minus 3, which is 1. So we've got no further numbers to multiply by. And the second term, we can do the same thing, except that we have to dif differentiate in terms of y, not in terms of x. So we can say that... Oops. Get rid of that blob. It becomes 2 times y minus 1 multiplied or to the power 1 multiplied by the derivative of y minus 1 which is dy by dx. So the derivative of the y term is 1 but we've got to add this dy by dx because we're actually differentiating with respect to a different variable. Now, on the right-hand side, the constant term differentiates to zero, and then we've got some terms multiplied by dy by dx and some terms not, so we just keep the 2 times y minus 1 dy by dx on the left, and what we want to do is to uh, bring that over to the other side. It becomes negative, um, so it's negative 2, or uh, x minus 3, which we could multiply out, and we probably will, let's just do that, negative 2x plus 6, which means that dy by dx is, I'm going to turn that around, 6 minus 2x divided by uh, 2 times y minus 1. I shouldn't really have multiplied out that 2, should I, because we're just going to take it back out. which leaves us with 3 minus x over y minus 1. So that's the, the dy by dx, which of course is also going to be our uh, gradient rule. So, instead of just leaving it there as dy by dx, this time uh, we're going to calculate the gradient. Okay, So the gradient at, what's the actual point that we're told? It's the point 6, 3. The gradient at 6, 3, 
m is equal to 3 minus x over y minus 1. x is 6, y is 3. So it's 3 minus 6 divided by 3 minus 1, which is negative 3 over 2. So our gradient is negative 3 over 2. So it's just that little extra uh, step that we've got where our gradient requires both the x and the y coordinate. We now have a point, the point of tangency. We have the gradient at that point, which means that we can therefore finish off our problem by finding the equation of the tangent. It takes the form y minus b equals m times x minus a because we've got the information that we've needed. The point is point 0.63 and the gradient is negative 3 over 2 so it becomes y minus 3 equals negative 3 over 2 multiplied by x minus 6 which can multiply both sides by 2 which gets rid of the fraction 2y minus 6 equals negative 3x plus 18 um, and we can arrange it in whatever way and it seems to work if we bring the 3x or add 3x to both sides we end up with 3x plus 2y um, we could have the numbers on the right hand side that become 24 or we could write it as 3x plus 2y minus 24 equals zero okay uh, that either way that would be fine uh, for the equation of a tangent and we can say that that's our answer. An equation of the tangent at 6, 3. Okay, so it's a familiar process. We've just got our new uh, implicit differentiation technique. We've got a slightly different way of calculating the gradient, but otherwise the form is the same. Okay.